Okay, this is the YN160S Pro LED video light. Um, it's a cheap light. Um, why did I get this one? Well, the reason being is for some of the videos I put together. Um, I could do with a bit more light when working in the evening. Plus, to wear. Also, it's useful for green screen work. But most of the instructions are in. Chinese and in uh, English, so um, let's go over a couple of things anyway. First thing is, although you've got AA batteries, it will also take, I'm trying not to scratch the front here, um, I think they're Sony type batteries with like camcorder type. Uh, double check online because uh, I don't want to quote people, but it does take several different types of battery. Um, it's uh, it's cheap. That's what, <laughs> that's the best way to describe it. It's very plastic, plasticky, as you can see. It's very thin. You like this cover, um, but it is what it is. What I like about this though is it comes with this little stand. Well, let's try and put this together. Hang on a second. Okay, so as you can see, it's attached here. Uh, important thing: they put these little uh, nuts in here. They're not glued in. They're not fixed. And bear in mind, this is just out of the box. I have just lost the nice black coloured um, <laughs> nut in the grass with no chance of finding it. So I do recommend taking this off, super gluing the nut into it. Because um, you're never going to have to remove the nut anyway. Uh, I can't see why. Oh, I just want to double check this. Come on. Yeah, if you glue that in, it's not going to hurt. Yeah, so as you can see, there's the where the nut was. Um, if you super glued it in there, it's not going to do any harm. Just make sure you don't super glue this thread. Um, but we'll continue the video anyway. Um, just want to show why I bought this in the first place. Uh, a bit frustrated after losing a nut after about five minutes, but that's why it's cheap. Okay, so I'm back again. Uh, as you can see, I've had to replace the uh, the the nut. Um, a bit frustrating that I lose it within the first two minutes of it coming out of the box, but it does make a point of why you super glue it in there. Um, so basically that's the light. It's nothing spectacular. It does have, you can change the filters by the way. It's got an orange one in currently. Um, but it's also, it comes with a clear, well, it's not clear actually, a frosted filter as well. Um, so how does it work? Well, I'm using six batteries, uh, because I just happen to have them. It's easy to adjust not with one hand but to adjust the neck you can just swing it backwards and forwards and then lock it switching on and off um well it's a lot more difficult than i had expected uh so switch them on uh and we should have some life in it There we go. Now, it is fairly bright. Um, gotta bear in mind, I've left the orange one in there uh, purely because it's not gonna glare too much on the camera. But you've got different levels of intensity. You can turn it right up, there's five levels. So let's turn it, there's the first one, second one, third, fourth, fifth. And as you can see, 
it's extremely bright at five. But for the money, I think it's good value. Um, the other thing is this mount here, um, that's laying flat. You can actually take this off and put it on top of your um, camera or maybe you want to mount it on something else because this just slots off like that. So, as you can see, there's your, uh, ma your mount for other equipment. Um, and it's also threaded. So yeah, that'll actually work on a stand or a tripod as well as the slot in type. I wonder if they put one in the bottom of this as well. Okay, that's threaded as well. Um, so obviously you stick that on your tripod, you can slip it in and out so you don't have to keep take this on and off. Um, but I like the little stand as well uh, because when I do videos on my desk, I can just set this up. Uh, another reason why I wanted it on battery and not on mains is because when I set it up, I can just put it up, do my videos, then put it away before the kids uh, accidentally trip over or mess around with it. Um, sorry about my workshop today. Uh, it was my sister's wedding a couple of weeks ago, um, and we're actually painting and building a cart out here for one of the... Uh, exhibit shall we say for the wedding um that's pretty much it like i said five controls uh there's a test button there as well what's the test button do oh there we go it flicks through if you press test it actually does a sequence don't think it makes any difference <laughs> but yeah it's a light at the end of the day um, thanks for watching.